that specific folder. And then let's go ahead and edit the proxy.config file. So I'm going to go to the server section, then replace this token with an application tier I've already configured. Okay, so if the proxy needs to be um, configured to cache files from multiple application tiers, um, you need to have a server section one for each application tier. So let's go ahead and save that. So now that we are in this uh, config file, let's go ahead and talk about um, some of the other config settings uh, in this file. Uh, one is the, the cache root, which is um, the location where Proxy is going to cache all the files. Um, this is the one we configured as part of our setup visit. Um, the cache uh, cleanup policy, uh, we did talk about this as part of our uh, slide deck. Um, we do support two policies. One is the percentage based policy, wherein you can say that um, the cache, you can allocate a percentage of disk space uh, for the proxy cache. The other policy being uh, you can set a fixed set limit, say 2 gig, 20 gig, uh, things like that. Uh, the default is uh, the percentage based policy, and we set the value to 75%. Um, and then the next setting is the cache deletion percentage. Uh, so this is okay, uh, the proxy determined that it has exceeded the, the cache limit. Um, so what percentage of the cache needs to be cleaned up? Um, and then the next one is uh, the statistics purchase time. So this indicates how often uh, we purchased uh, the performance counters. Um, the next two settings, uh, we really don't want uh, the administrators to change. Just uh, leave it the way it is. Um, also, we, have, uh, we will be providing uh, some more detailed documentation on uh, each of these elements, what is the min value, what is the max value, uh, what are some of the recommended values uh, as part of our um, admin guide. So let's go ahead and close this file. So once um, the administrator has completed this step, he can go ahead and send an email uh, to his team um, saying the proxy has been uh, configured go ahead and uh, change your client settings um, to uh, use the proxy. Uh, we'll take a look at um, that as a next step on how the clients can uh, point to this proxy.